Near this spot on the coast of Veracruz, Cortes burned his ships and began his march to the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. Along the way, he would taste vanilla for the first time. In this region of Mexico, known as Totonacapan, the culture of vanilla has been thriving for centuries. Hola. Vivo. I live near this vanilla orchard. I've known the owner, Mr. Orlando Gaya, since I was a child. One day he saw me and asked if I would like to learn how to pollinate the vanilla. I told him I already knew but would like to try it on the vine. So he told me he'd call when the season started. I accepted, and here I am, dedicated to pollinating the flowers. First, we cut open the little belly of the orchid. I only use my thumb right here to hold open the flower. Now, I lift the cap that covers where the pollen is going. I lift it, and again, you see, I only use my thumb. I hold the pollen down so it doesn't fall. With my little stick, I push in and release the pollen. At this moment, the pollen is being released. Here it is. Look. I don't know if the camera can see it. Just to be sure, I remove the cap that covered the pollen. You can do 400 flowers a day, if you work fast. This is where vanilla originates. Vanilla was introduced to the world by the Spaniards, who took it from here back to Europe, and from there the rest of the world. For many years, vanilla was grown only here in the region of Totonacapan, in the state of Veracruz. The producers were indigenous people, and that connection continues today. It grew wild in the forests and jungles, the high forests as we call them here. Today, cattle, citrus, etc. have changed the landscape and the climate. We only have around 30 days to pollinate all these flowers in this orchard. Right now, there are 60 people pollinating flowers on my ranch. The flower only opens during limited hours of the day, and that's when we pollinate it. That's from sunrise until 2 in the afternoon. Then it closes. Flowers? Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. The practiced hands of the Totonacos continue to care for their sacred orchid. This vanilla is sacred. It's the treasure of our perfume city, Papantla, Veracruz. Let's go where there are more flowers. Come over here. In the past, vanilla only grew in the forests. 
Here in the thicket, we cleared the vines with our machetes, removing the bird nests with our coas. All cleaned and ready to plant vanilla. In the trees and thickets, that's where we grew the vanilla. But not anymore. Now there's not much forest left. <laughs>